What's up guys, Flashfire here. Today I'm bringing you another team building video. Now before we get started, if you can, leave a like right down below this video. I want to see if we can get this to 45 likes. If we can, I'll put a pastebin file of this team down in the description. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this team? Although you can probably tell from the title. This is a Trick Room Mega Heracross team, um, which was actually built by PS McCaddy. So before I go any further, I want to ask you guys to go and check out his channel. He's very generously let me feature this team this week. Um, so if you want to go and check out his channel, he's a, he's a very good battler a very good youtuber uh, i'll link it down in the description i'll put an annotation on the screen as well so uh absolutely go and do that but right now we're going to go over the team so we have our mega heracross right here um and what we've got what we've done is we've just put four attacking moves and uh max hp max attack and a negative speed nature basically what this does is um th this thing will outspeed most things in trick room most offensive threats certainly and outside of trick room it outspeeds up to base 60s which is a lot of walls and stuff like it outspeeds clefable just by one point it, it, yeah it, it outspeeds uninvested base 60s outside of trick room and inside trick room it outspeeds everything else that isn't uninvested base 60 and slower so it, it's a really good trick room one um you can use it to wall break outside of trick room and then sweep inside of trick room which is fantastic um it also gets base 165 attack when it megas which is just like pff, is it 65 or is it 85 it's really big it's 85 it's even bigger than i thought it's crazy um so we've got negative speed nature plus attack nature just because why not um this is a really powerful sweeping set so that's great. And as I said, this team was actually built by PS McCaddy, who kind of a bit tried to teach me Trick Room um, a couple of couple of days ago on a stream. Um, and basically, what I gathered from it was that you play hyper offense. Basically, you get you get three to four Trick Room users and just try to get Trick Room up as often as possible and just wall break all the time and then sweep. So um, we've got three Trick Room users that I'm going to go over right now. Uh, the first one is Bronzong. This is quite an important one. Um, this is our suicide lead. Uh, and the, the function of this is basically um, to get up get up rocks if they're necessary, um, get up trick room, and then die. That That's this thing's function. So um, the moves we're going to go for are stealth rock, uh, but, uh, stealth rock trick room, because these are the two important ones, uh, and then gyro ball. And you'll notice I've got normal gem on there because we will be running explosion um, just because we can. Basically, the idea of this is to pretty much it, the order is stealth rock trick room explode and then you've got four you've got four turns of trick room for whatever mon you bring in and hopefully you've damaged your opponent's mon enough that you can kill it with whatever you bring in so that's the, that's the plan here um we're just going to invest fully in defense uh because why the hell not um and we've gone for no we don't go minus special attack we go minus speed zero ivs um because obviously that gives max damage for gyro ball and i guess it lets us outspeed stuff in trick room not that we want this to be our trick room outspeedy thing but like it, it the option is there uh, and then we'll just chuck eight in attack for that nice and powerful uh normal gem explosion so yeah this is a suicide lead um and it, it's a really really effective one it gets trick room up so reliably it's great um the next trick room the the other two trick room mons we've got um actually function well under trick room they're they're good offensive threats as well uh the first one is reuniclus which is one of i think the best um one of the best trick room mons we're gonna go for life orb magic guard because it's fantastic you can get ridiculous damage output um and yeah so the, the moves we run are trick room uh shadow ball psy shock and uh focus blast just for coverage um i'm pretty sure this it, it, it it's just a really good set uh it's really nice because this thing has so much bulk uh, it can more or less reliably set up a trick room on pretty much anything. Um, even, I'm, pr I, I think it lives a knockoff from Bishop. I'm not, don't like quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it does. It's just a fantastic mon, uh, trick room wise. The, basically the idea is you want really bulky trick room users that can reliably get a trick room off and live a hit from more or less anything and then smack it back really hard. So this is one of them, uh, and it's really good. I really like this one. This is, this has huge sweeping potential under trick room. And actually, I really like the shiny form. So we're going to make, we're going to have a blue one of them. Um, and the next, the, our final trick room user is going to be, um, if I can spell it, this Porygon 2. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what we're actually going to do here is we're going to run trace, um, because we can, and then we're going to run max, HP max special attack. Um, no, we're not going to run trace. Trace is wrong. Download is right. Uh, because if we if we download the plus special attack, then uh, we can just run train on stuff. Um, so this runs Trick Room, um, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and you could go for a coverage move here, like try attack 
because that's stab as well. Uh, but we actually ended up going for recover, and it works pretty well, I think, um, because you can use it to store stuff out and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, this is our P2. Um, what did what did I call this? That's not my nickname, but it's a nickname. Anyway, yeah, this is um. This is our P2 set. So these are our three trick room users. They're, they're pretty bulky. They reliably get trick room up and they hit really hard on the trick room. So it's fantastic. They're great. Um, now the next couple of mods, you'll notice because because of the nature of trick room teams and trick room Pokemon, uh, they're often very dark weak, very specifically very knockoff weak. Um, you see th this is weak to knockoff, this is weak to knockoff, this has an Eviolite, so it's basically weak to knockoff. Um, so we want some good switchings for knockoff. Uh, and one of those that we thought of was Azumarill because this thing is fat. Um, it switches into knockoff users really nicely, and it, uh, it, uh, it, it, it hits really hard. It's slow, it hits hard under Trick Room, it's basically everything we want in a mod at the moment. So, we're gonna go for huge power, because otherwise there is no power, um, and obviously the, the lowest speed possible, because we want to be outspeeding as much stuff as possible under Trick Room. Um, and then the moves we went for were actually Aqua Jet, because it's nice to have priority outside of Trick Room. Um, so we went for Aqua Jet, Waterfall. Um, play rough, obviously, and then we actually went for power up punch, which is a bit different. Uh, but we figured we haven't really got any setup sweepers, and under trick room, if you can power up punch something for super effective damage, you're a plus one for free. Like, what's what what's the problem? Like, if you switch it into a bishop, smack it with power punch, you're a plus one, and you're outspeeding everything. It's fantastic. So that's why we've gone for that. Uh, I really feel like this has good potential to sweep. I did put that at zero IVs, didn't I? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this, this Azumarill is really powerful, and we love it. Um, and then the final mod is also going to be able to switch into Trick Room, um, but because of the weakness of um, our whole team, really, to Talonflame at the moment, uh, we're going to have a Talonflame check, and it's going to be Tyranitar. Um, Assault vs Tyranitar is going to be our Talonflame check. Uh, this is also great under Trick Room because it's slow as balls, um, but we're going to do we're going to do this with our EVs, and I think we're going to run Adamant rather than uh, Negative Speed Nature because we want this to outspeed walls under uh, outside of Trick Room. I think um, I'm not sure. Actually, we could just run Negative Speed Nature and beat it. I don't know. I'm going to run I'm going to run Adamant for now and see how we go. Um, actually, we might run. No, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then we'll put 8 in defense just because we can. I think the moves we're going to go for are Stone Edge, uh, Earthquake, Pursuit, and Crunch. Uh, just because... Yeah, because we can use this to check Lattes and uh, Town Flame and all that kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, I think that's the plan. So this is the team, guys. If you like it, see, this is... This is something that I wouldn't normally use. As I said, this is, this was built by, by McCaddy. I don't normally play Trick Room. I'm kind of... I Well, I've recently been kind of bad at it. I feel like with this team, I, I've done a bit better with it. Basically, the plan is to have Trick Room up as much as possible and just be running through your opponent as much as possible. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this team, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see a placement of the file, get us to 45 likes and come back in a couple of days for the battles with this team, which should be, hopefully, a lot of fun. Um, we'll see how we go. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Remember to go and check out McCaddy's channel, and I will see you in the next one.